Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. We are just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. It, you know, it could be the 30th, could be the 1st, okay? Could be the 2nd, whatever. Um, the High Priestess, you know something, you know you may be keeping to yourself that you know, but you do know. Mm. This is an opportunity for happiness. This is thinking about it, thinking about accepting it. Somebody is thinking about, about it but not really giving it a chance. Somebody may not be giving love a chance, giving a partnership a chance. They may be cheating themselves of love. No courage, no confidence. Six of Wands, no progress being made. Oh, well, we got two. The Emperor reversed and the Hangman. So somebody has been resisting change, trying to control an outcome. There could be some anger. There could be some ego issues. Ego could be in the way. We have somebody here that could, could be... Um, losing their concentration. They may be confused over a situation. They may ca be causing them to be angry. Maybe they're scared of change. You know, we got somebody here that is very dominant and doesn't like this guy. Like, he, it's his way or the highway. So he, somebody may be upset that, you know, they're not, it's not going the way that they would like. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now, this is a person that is jealous. She is. She's stubborn and she can be a little aggressive. She um, she wants what she wants and she wants it now. So, um, and we got two very strong people here. It's like they're both pretty dominant. This one will win because he is more dominant. And there could be a fight for dominance here. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, um, now she, she's probably, she may let it go, the Queen of Pentacles, because she's in, she may be like, you know what, not worth it to me. It's not worth it to me, you know. She may decide, you know, it's not, she doesn't, I don't know. We're going to have to get another card for that one. Um, you know, somebody knows that it's time for happiness. But this, there could be some frustration here, okay? We have somebody here that could be frustrated. They may be thinking that, I don't know. They may be thinking somebody is deceiving them. They may be, it may be, because they're not mastering their emotions. So it may not be true. I mean, I don't really see any dishonesty here. I don't, somebody may be thinking that, you know, I'm, they're cheating on me or they're going to hurt me or they're going to cheat on me or, you know, somebody is definitely thinking about deception here. And so they, they're really, they may be thinking, you know, Is this an opportunity for love or not? Is this something I want to consider? So, um, this is letting go. This is making a conscious change to drop a load. Something that has been burning, burdensome, burning, burdening them. Something, it's like getting, dropping it. 
but this is lack of courage and this is lack of courage. So we have somebody here that is maybe not feeling confident in themselves. They may be feeling insecure. They may be dealing with a lot of inner conflict about following their intuition towards happiness. It's like there's a lot of... Uh, Confusion. It feels like there's confusion here over whether we should make progress, whether we should move forward or not. <laughs> Interesting. Some this is like this guy is like sneaking away. You got somebody here that is sneaking away gone this is weak somebody is weak no more energy they may be sneaking away from a jealous individual who makes them angry I gotta be honest with you it's like I'm frustrated I'm sneaking away this is too much for me there's too much jealousy there's too much anger you know there's just incompatibility here and you know there's not no no victory and success i'm not sure i want this anymore i want happiness so you know i feel like somebody's intuition is telling them that they need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to go after happiness Find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower to go after happiness. Somebody has been reluctant. Somebody has been reluctant to follow their own path to happiness, to follow their intuition. Somebody has been reluctant to because of their own about there could be other people influencing them or whatnot, you know, and their intuition's telling them to do it, do it, do it, and they haven't been because there's so many people involved. But there's a real opportunity for this is a soulmate connection here. And we have this person thinking about it, but for some reason not taking it. Be stubbornly I don't know, this person's pretty stubborn too, set in their ways. You know, I'm not sure if I want this. I understand it's a big opportunity. It's right here next to me. I can take it any time. So. Hmm. There's definitely some. Counterproductiveness. Because. Both people want to be in control. And now it's like both people, because see where this landed, both these people want to be in control. And this is right here. Both people are not stepping down or not um, working together, uh, holding on to their view. I will not budge. Okay. See, it's funny. We got these both people, then we got the hey man right here. It's like, no, 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 it's no, it's my way. No, 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 no. You know, it's like they're in constant, it's almost like they're in constant competition with each other. This is a competition as well. And this is like, we got some, and it's like, we got these, these people are like, well, oh, I'm going to prove to you. No, I'm going to prove. And, and it's like you're almost proving silently, but it's not healthy. <laughs> okay. It's burdening the relationship. It's not going to make it successful. So for whoever this is for, you know, playing that game, it will not make the relationship successful. It will just weigh it down even more. You know, sometimes you got to give up the control to bring success. So it feels like we have somebody here that is really stubbornly holding on to their view, not willing to budge, not willing to compromise, and it's causing a power struggle. Um... <laughs> This is resisting change. Both of these people are resisting change. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Aries. We have Leo here. It doesn't matter who we got, but I'm just saying we have somebody here that is not being very practical, not being very realistic, somebody that's angry, somebody that's 
lost their concentration and their focus. This guy is probably, um, you know, he's not going to budge. It's my way or the highway. And this one up here is like, but <laughs> really? Are you sure about that? <laughs> so is that how it goes? That's funny. Um, you know, and she can be miserable. She's very sarcastic. Um, and I mean, we have both these people are sarcastic. So anyway, she may be suspicious of, oh God, I don't even want to say it. I'm not going to, I'm not going that down that road. Um, cause she's very suspicious. She is a very suspicious and he's a bit suspicious too. So anyway, we thought we have some suspicions here. We people, we have some suspicions. Um, but this is releasing a burden. This is releasing it, making a conscious change to let it go, let it go. You need to decide to let something go that is holding you back from victory and success. It, it, it it could be your need to control situations. Let go of your need to control. Let go and let God. So anyway, somebody is trying to control when they should be surrendering to their intuition. Follow your intuition to happiness. Somebody's been cheating themselves of love. That's sad. I hate that kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, somebody has been. So I think we need some, somebody needs to find their strength and their confidence to celebrate their life. Be happy. Just be happy. Work together. Choose the love. Don't deceive yourself. Don't let other people hold you back because that's big here with, with these two cards. Like, there's other people that are affecting another person's happiness. You have the power to just take back control of your life, go your own path towards happiness. Follow your bliss. You know, this is that go of control. Things are out of control. There could be issues with children. There could be issues with children that are causing a delay or animosity or whatever. There could be a little petty argument that has to do with children. But there's an opportunity to work together to bring happiness to the situation. There really is. It's funny to work together. Three of shields. Yeah, there's an opportunity to work together. To come together. Might have to make some compromises, but there's an opportunity to work together. If you can let go of your jealousy... <laughs> in your suspicions and the other person can let go of their need to prove a point of some sort or they can let go of the need to control and just follow their bliss let it all go there's frustrations here there is. There's frustration, frustrations that need to be dropped. Time to drop this load. 
drop this burden, drop this grudge, drop this stubbornness, drop this... <laughs> stance and be happy so anyway there's an opportunity to work together with whatever this situation is if somebody decides to you know don't don't sit there with your arms crossed communicate Trying to prove yourself is just killing you. It really is. We got somebody here that's trying to prove themselves when it, it's hurting them more than it is anybody else. So anyway, there's an opportunity to work together with uh, somebody or people. If, if communication could happen, communication is key. It's key. With no communication is miscommunication. It is. So, anyway, I feel like today is a day of perhaps deciding to put in effort to work together. To make a conscious change. To let go of control. To just let it happen. Oh, let's get one of these. Why don't we get one of these? Letting go of control. Happiness. That will bring happiness. It will bring something to celebrate, you know? It's a, it's a frustrating competition here. We have a frustrating competition between two people that are probably really perfect for each other. But there's an opportunity to work together if somebody could let go of their stubbornness. If somebody is being really stubborn trying to prove a point of some sort. There's no doubt about that one. Anyway, let's get one of these. Oh, begin now. Take your first step. Do it. Take your first step. Let's read it. Time to begin. Every journey starts with the first step. There is no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but never, nevertheless, it's now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wipe the slate clean and get going. Release familiar routines, stagnant situations, or challenging relationships that no longer support you or empower you. You are at the end of an old cycle and beginning a new and exciting one. Set your sails for a new horizon. There are times when the traveler needs to separate from family, friends, and acquaintances to enter new places within himself or herself. I did. This is my second daily vibe for the day. This card goes with that first reading. So I wasn't going to post that first reading, but I am. I'm going to post it now because this card goes with it. So you're going to get two dailies for today. Anyway, there are times when the traveler needs to separate from family, friends, and acquaintances to enter new places within himself or herself. Sometimes the traveler must go beyond what is familiar in order to be open to transformation and change. I don't know. Maybe I won't share it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Thus, the journey brings a heightened sense of awareness and ignites mindfulness. Sometimes it can feel difficult to take this first step, but unless you do, you'll never know the joy and fulfillment that await you. Do it now. In the words of Lael Tao, a journey of a thousand miles 
must begin with a single step. It's time to take that first step in the direction that is going to make you happy. Do not let other people control your happiness. Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. It's going to lead you in the right direction. Communicate. This is communication right here. Communicate. Collaborate. Work together. Work together. The silent treatment isn't going to do nothing for you. It's going to cause bitterness and anger. So let go of that. Anyway, that's my message for the 30th. Good luck. The other one is not going to be posted because it's about my individual situation and I've already given too much information. So I'm going to keep that one to myself. Thank you.